If you want to compile and run Java applications successfully, you're going to need to understand the Java home and path environment variables. So in this video, you're going to learn what these environment variables do, when you should use each of them, and how to set them up properly yourself in Windows. Let's get right into it. Let's talk about path. This environment variable consists of a list of directories, and these directories contain executable programs, for example, .exe files. Any .exe files contained in directories on the path are automatically executable from the Windows command prompt without having to specify a full path. So if you want easy access to a program, add the directory that contains it to the path. Let's see how this works to get access to the programs contained within the Java development kit, the JDK. So here I am at a command prompt, and what I can do is print out my path variable. Notice that it contains the JDK directory, JDK17 backslash bin. Let's take a look inside that directory. And you can see it contains all the Java executables that you might be familiar with, like the Java command itself to run Java programs, Java C to compile them, or JAR to create a JAR archive. Because the Java bin directory is on the path, it means we can execute these programs very easily. Here we've executed the Java command, which successfully prints out the JDK version. To show you what would happen if Java wasn't on the path, I've removed it and we'll open up a new Windows command prompt. Now when we run the same command, we get an error because Windows can't locate the Java command. We could of course specify the full path and that would continue to work. Great, so the path is all about allowing us to run Java from the command line really easily by name. So why on earth do we need the Java home environment variable as well? Java Home is a variable that's set to the JDK installation directory, and it's used by any programs that need access to the JDK. So you can think of Java Home as a kind of pointer if you like. Right now we can see that my environment variable for Java Home is set to the JDK17 root directory. One program that uses this variable is the popular build automation tool Gradle. It uses Java Home to locate the JDK which it should use to run Gradle itself. We can see that if we run Gradle dash dash version. Its JVM is set to the Java version that it found from the Java home variable. So what would happen if we deleted the Java home variable? That's what I've just done. I've started a new Windows command prompt. Let's try running the same Gradle command and see what happens. So unsurprisingly, we've got an error that it couldn't find the Java home variable. Gradle needs at least some way of knowing where the JDK is located, and that's what it uses Java Home for. So the next question then is, do we need to set both the Java Home and the path environment variables? Well, actually modern tools like Gradle are very good at using either Java Home or path to find the JDK installation. Other tools like Eclipse need at least the path environment variable set to even start up. To set up your operating system to most flexibly work with the most number of Java applications, I definitely recommend setting up both the Java home and path environment variables, which we're going to get into right now. Okay, so to start setting up environment variables in Windows, I'm using Windows 11 here, by the way. We just hit the start key and type environment. And then when you see edit the system environment variables, just hit enter on this system properties dialog we click environment variables, and then this is the main screen where we can add, edit, and delete environment variables. So how can we add the Java home environment variable? Well, first off, we need to locate the JDK installation directory. And if you don't currently have a JDK installed, you can go to jdk.java.net and download one and install it to your directory of choice. So we're gonna open up File Explorer, navigate to the JDK installation, and inside the root of the JDK installation, just click in the address bar and copy that path. Then back in environment variables, under system variables, we're going to click new. And this will create a new system variable, which will apply to any user on my operating system. For the variable name, that's going to be java underscore home. And the value is the directory path we just copied for the JDK directory. Click okay. And that's Java Home set up perfectly. 
Now let's take care of the path environment variable, which actually already exists. So double click this entry under system variables. And these are all the directories that currently exist on my Windows path. We want to add a new directory here. So click new. And what we're going to do is actually reference the Java home variable to reduce duplication. We're going to have a reference to that. And then we're going to do backslash bin percent Java home percent and then backslash bin. Hit enter and hit OK. We just need to hit OK on this environment variables dialog. And I just want to point out that it's very important that Java home is set to the root directory of the JDK, whereas the value you add to path is the bin directory. And now let's test that these variables are set up correctly. So open up a Windows command prompt. To check path, we're just going to run Java dash dash version. The fact that that's successfully run means that the bin directory was correctly added to the path. To check Java home, we're just going to echo out percent Java underscore home percent. And that's correctly set to the root directory of the JDK installation. So there you have it. Now you understand why we need to configure the path and Java home environment variables. You've seen how to set that up in Windows. And we set up the path environment variable in a really nice way that references Java home. So if you ever update Java, you only have to update one variable. And let me know in the comments down below if there's any other Java topics you'd like me to cover. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.